You want to add admins, you want to share your channel, you want an editor in, you want someone to help you with your SEO. You can now invite people with permissions, whether it's a brand account or a personal account on YouTube. Now I'm a YouTube consultant, I help a lot of my clients, I gain access to their channel and I do deep dives into their channels, their analytics and how they're looking after their channel. I have to do that through a brand account or an invite, but now you can use the new permissions if your account is personal or direct access if you're a brand account. So I'm going to show you how you can do both of them. First of all, you go to your avatar in the top right hand corner and you click YouTube Studio. This is where it lists all of your recent statistics, things like that. You should be used to this if you're a creator by now. And you go down to settings in the bottom left hand corner. If you click on permission, if you have a brand account, which I do, you are able to manage the permissions via the brand by clicking here. Now, as it's a brand account, it means I can have many YouTube channels underneath one login, including other people's YouTube accounts that I look after, like I do as a consultant. So I click manage permissions. It asks you to sign in. You'll have to click manage permissions again, and it pops up here. Now this is who has access to your brand account. Now I am the primary owner. I have someone in here at the current moment doing some testing work for me. And in the top right hand corner, it says invite new users. You can invite people in via their email address or via their username. So let's say I type in Desiree Martinez. I could then choose some role, whether it's owner, which means they have the right to add other owners, other managers, other communications managers. Manager, which means they can do everything on the channel. They just can't delete it, that kind of thing. And communications manager, they can see the videos and they can reply to the comments. You choose what you wish to make them so for this example you click owner and then you click invite and then desiree would receive an email i'm not going to do that today desiree i'm sorry it's my channel this is purely for just an example now if you have a normal personal account and you click permission you'll get a screen like this in which it tells you who the owner is and it says that you can add remove managers from your channel to add moderators go to the community settings but to add a manager, you click invite. You type in the email address up here. You choose the access you are giving them. Manager can add and remove others and edit everything to the channel, but can't delete the channel. Editor can edit everything, but can't add or remove others, delete videos, the channel, or enter into contracts. Viewer can see everything, but can't edit anything. And a limited viewer can see everything except for the revenue of the channel. So. Let's say I make myself a manager, click manager, click done. It then sends an invite to that person. And when they accept it, they will be added here with a list of who has access to the channel. Now, recently I've done a little bit of work with Philip Russell, who's a science educator, and he added me as a manager. Now you can see in the top right hand corner, this is how you know that you've been granted access and what that access is. So here it says you are a manager. And you can see, just like anything else, I can switch accounts, I can flick through videos, right? And I can click settings, and on the permissions, you can see who has access to the channel. Blurred out email addresses just for privacy, but you can see here that someone's an owner, someone's a manager, and so am I. If you need any help with any other YouTube features, there's a playlist here. Remember to subscribe for regular YouTube tips.